guys what's going on thank you so much for tuning in to my channel so for today I am doing some spring cleaning going through my 2016 product empties and I was like you know what let's do a video on it I'm gonna go through all this stuff and I'm gonna tell you if it was a hit or a miss I have a bag full of stuff right here this is all filled up to the top so I'm gonna go through this super super fast all right let's get into it first thing urban decay after dark hit or miss hmm Undecided. I'll make an undecided pile. Next up, uh, Tart, Tartiest Volume. The third one, hit or miss? Miss. Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in Sweets, hit. Makeup Shayla Tartiest Palette, hit. Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance was a hit. Kat Von D Shade and Light, this is the eye palette, hit. MAC Mineralize Skin Finish, always a hit. You can never go wrong with that. This is a MAC Lipstick. What's the shade? Strip Me Down. This is the Taraji one. Hit. This lives in my purse all day, every day. Smashbox Photo Primer Oil. Huge hit. I don't use this on myself. I use it on my clients. Amazing. Oh, my Rusk Speed Free Hair Dryer that I use at work hit but it died on me there was something with the surge or plug at work and it fried but this was a huge hit smashbox photo primer water two boxes yes it was a hit these are the mikasa powder brush this one is a hit morphe which palette was this 35 f fall into frost palette huge hit love this one that's not 2016, that's 2015. That's stupid old. That's gotta go. Urban Decay Full Spectrum. Hit, 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 hit. Tarte. Oh, this is the holiday collection for their Tartiest Eye Paints, the, the gel liner. This was a miss. Mm, I wanted to like this very much, but the only thing I like about this is that it is the squeeze tube, which means it's super sanitary when I'm using it on the client. So I will use it for that, but it's not my first thing I go to. For me, this is going to be a miss. Another Smashbox Photo Primer Water. Hit three times. Let me bring this back up here. Oh, Master Palette by Mario. Anastasia Beverly Hills. Huge hit. Ah, Kylie Cosmetics, Burgundy, undecided. We'll come back to that. That's 2015 as well. Holy crap, <laughs> that's horrible. Okay, the Coco Collection by Kylie Cosmetics. These were came over the holidays before lipsticks. I'm going to say this was a hit. My, okay, so this is my birthday gift. This was the Marc Jacobs. This is how I originally tried the highlighter. Bomb, hit. The highlighter is a hit. Oh, here it is. I bought the bigger one too. The Tardiest. What's the actual name for this? Tardiest Clay Paint Liner. Miss, 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 miss. Totally cute Too Faced. I have no idea why I even bought this. I think the packaging got me. I gave it away to a friend. Miss. Just, I don't know. I couldn't get into it. The Becca Ever Matte Primer. Hit Oily Skin. Get into it. Kat Von D Translucent Setting Powder. Undecided. We'll come back to that. MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. This one is in, this is, oh, this is dark. The other one was in Sun Power. Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation. Chestnut is a miss, but Earth is a huge hit. I use this one for contouring. Oh, Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. Hit, 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 so good. This is the Bobbi Brown, oh, the Shimmer Brick Palette. A client from work works for Bobbi Brown. She gave this to me. This is a hit. I don't use this on myself. I use this on my clients. Amaze. The Jackie Ina Clay Eyeshadow Palette is a hit. Then I've got Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss. There's one, two, <laughs> here's three, here's three, 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 four, five, six. Six times, yes, it's a hit, y'all. Anastasia Beverly Hills, hands down, makes the best lip glosses of all time. Hit, 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 huge hit. 
this is the, oh yeah, that Stila palette, the um, Stila color correcting palette. This is a huge hit. I use this on my clients. This is in my client kit. This comes through. It's got everything that you need for color correcting for any skin tone bomb hit. This is the fourth time we're seeing this now. Smashbox photo primer water. Hit again. <laughs> What's this? Oh, Stila Huge Extreme Mascara. This is my favorite. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Oh, Mikasa Duo Fiber Brush. It has to be a miss, although it applies beautifully. However, this thing sheds like no other, so that made it a miss. I have some MAC Lip Liner and Night Moth. Hit. Huge hit. Kat Von D Like a Cream Concealer. I just repurchased this because I ran out of my other one. Hit, hit, hit. MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Taraji Glow Hit. This was from her collection in the fall. Do, do, do. Ooh, Peanut Butter and Jelly. This was a hit. I just love the colors in this palette, although I don't use it as often as I should. That was a hit for me. Benefit Goof Proof. I just purchased a second one of these. This shade is for the one that I'm currently using now. It's on my brows. It's five. Hit, hit. Huge hit. Liquid, oh, Kat Von D Everlasting Lipstick Vampiria. All of her lipsticks are a hit. This is the MAC, what is the shade? Antique Velvet, super, super deep. Love it. Great for a vampy look. The Tarte, oh, the Tartiest Lip Paint in FOMO. Miss, wasn't into it. This is the NARS Velvet Lip Glide. My shade is Area, super, super dark. Huge hit. Hourglass Vanish Seamless Foundation Stick Hit Another Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss Hit I think that makes seven And then the last three things are some Mikasa Beauty Brushes Again, these brushes apply gorgeous But um, they shed So that's a miss Now for our products that were undecided Kylie Cosmetics Kai Shadow and burgundy the shade range is gorgeous when I first started working with these I did not like it I did a video on it first impressions and I really think the reason why I did not like it was just simply because I was using concealer to prime my eyes and you cannot do this because the Royal Peach palette that is my jam I have this I have that on my eyes right now of course not the glitter but the orange in my crease and then the orange and the blue in my waterline gorgeous so for that, I will say this can be a hit. Kat Von D Translucent Locket Setting Powder. Okay, the reason why I say this is a undecided product for me is just simply because this product works on dark skin tones, deep skin tones. It works. That's not the issue. I don't. It's not the. Um, it's not that it alters the shade or makes you ashy. The thing that I can't get past is that it does have little itty bitty reflex of shimmer in it so for me now on my skin I'm oily but for someone that has drier skin this could work so for that I'm gonna say this is a hit and then the Urban Decay After Dark palette okay this is one of those palettes that I got suckered into buying and I didn't really need the reason why I'm saying that is because one of the colors, and I think maybe maybe two or three of the colors I already have previously in Urban Decay palettes. And so it's not that these shadows are bad. They're not bad shadows. It's just a palette I don't reach for that often. And I feel like I shouldn't have bought it. I could have done without it. So that's why it was undecided. So I'm going to say it's a miss. It's not that it's a bad product. I just simply didn't need to buy it. <laughs> All right, guys. And that is it. <laughs> My bag is finally empty. So now I can start all over for 2016. I'm sorry, 2017. I have some things piled up, but I just couldn't fit it in the bag. So that is going to be it for my product empty spring cleaning hit or miss. Let me know if you guys like this video. That was pretty fun. I've never done anything like this on my channel. All right, guys. So I'll see you on the next.